What's up guys? This is the Brokeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. So in this episode, we have attacked the uh, uh, Barbary State's capital of Tunis. And we are going to annihilate them because most of their army seems quite depleted. So let's take them out. But our consolidation of the North African coast seems to be working quite well. We have a... Uh, we have an army in Tripoli that's currently trying to bring the population under control. We're taking Tunis. Soon it'll be on to Algiers and Morocco. And then we will have that more consolidated uh, Western Front against the United Provinces. So, let's drop my guns over here. Reasonable firing position. Let's combine these men together into a good front line so first of all before we do too much so these are my african light mercenaries these are my skirmishers which look suitably thematic i think they look pretty neat then there's the well the feline we've already seen but where are they the african infantry guards yep he's having a good peep yep these men look pretty good but relatively they are an improvement over israeli well, in shooting that is, in melee they are actually a little bit worse almost across the board. So don't really want to send those fellows into melee combat. But that's why we have the Feleen. Exactly for that reason. So let's keep my skirmish cavalry together. And then my lance cavalry on the right. General in, the, general in the center on his elephants, and this is one of our first outings for mortars, which I'm a bit skeptical of, but let's give it a go. The uh, enemy is scattered all over the place. So, yes, yeah, so if I give them a target, like nomads, look, they move, I have to stop. And they fire at whatever the hell they want. I can't actually control what they engage. So now I've kind of reconfirmed that that's a risk. I'm probably going to get rid of them. I am not super interested in having a faction of my army. Well, my artillery support doesn't engage what I want them to engage. I mean, my artillery is just bombarding the enemy guns in the town. These camel nomads are charging across my front line, so they will find themselves exposed to musket fire. Camel gunners have fled. Yeah, okay, let's begin the pivot. My Sipahi go for the Desert Warriors, my native lances go for the Barbary Pirates. Let's get my Feline up on the right flank. It's got a bit of skirmishing going on here. Drive my camels forward, because they've got shorter range carbines. Come on. Either way, my melee troops are going to get stuck in. Your volley and in you go. And my melee troops stuck in on the flank. Good, you've shattered the desert warriors. Okay, hold your ground. Okay, go help out your native lancer uh, brothers on the flank. Run my right flank forward. OK, 
to keep the offensive running. Light cavalry go for Desert Warriors. Helene, charge forward. Camel mercenaries are going for the Barbary Pirates. So skirmish cavalry go for those Desert Warriors. You may help them out. Let's pivot my infantry here just to make sure they aren't killing my own men. There we go. My African light infantry can engage. They can actually play stakes, which is pretty neat. We're going to engage the Barbary Pirates, which isn't strictly necessary, but you do you. Push out my line. No idea what my arms are shooting at. You men go for the Amazons. There's a warrior shattered drive on. Okay, the enemy are falling back on the left. So advance my my left up. Get my Sapahi to advance up into the town. Okay, this is going to be a tricky part. Cavalry go for the gunners. Oh, I forgot about one of my artillery pieces. Well, either way. McLean are engaging the desert warriors. So I know what I said about not charging in my native African infantry, but let's just charge in to support my Fellaheen. Desert warriors are down. Captured a building, which is this, because a cavalryman has ran up into it. Okay, drive forward. Yeah, so I'm not against. Well, even though these the native infantry aren't their best for charging into the melee. There is definitely a time and a place where you just have to kind of lean into the melee charge and just say, okay, this is what we're doing. You will charge, but I'm pretty sure that is the end of the Barbary States in Tunis. Excellent. So that capital has been taken. We want to see... 7,600, okay. So let's get these build. Oop, no, not, not demolished. Let's get these buildings repaired. Just the, to quick, to the sooner the better to bring them into our, into our um, orbit. I want to get rid of the mortars because, I mean, that kind of showed that that was pretty terrible. I mean, no, that's going to be a... Yeah, weak navy, so let's take every unit to charge them down to Safaki, to sally them, to destroy them. Could bring them into the fleet, but I don't really care. You go back to Tunis, you embark and repair your ships. That shipyard will probably end up being demolished. And then let's also get another two units of levy, because I suspect... If you guys hop out. Minus three. Okay, so one more turn plus two units of recruitment is probably going to be enough. But I also would ideally not. I would, I would like to continue taxing you. Although three turns till Misrata becomes uh, still three turns. Okay. It's 1,600. Let's make sure all my navies are replenishing. You're replenishing. You're holding off Oop, just a second everyone sneezing coming
There we go. Okay, so the, you, you guys are going to hold. It's a blocking force of Gibraltar. Gibraltar's going to be okay. It's so these shipyards are just holding on. That's okay. You've not really got much money. Uh, let's just see if there's anywhere quick and easy we can spend money for a good profit. I mean, ultimately, I'm probably going to want to spend my time any surplus cash I have just building up an army or more armies here and they're not going to be fun armies because the fun armies get recruited in India and we've still got recruitment on the go in India okay save my 200 cash let's hit enter Yeah, the recruitment continues. Uh, but yes, I've got a hell of a lot of Dutch troops against me in Italy. So I'd very much like to try and open up a another front. I mean, at some point we may have to bash our way through, which is why I want to keep recruiting uh, lots of infantry in Italy because we're going to be we're going to be attrited quite significantly oh you're gonna run around us eh okay looks like the spanish have advanced north and then been pushed back so i'm gonna put lisbon under siege i'm not necessarily gonna attack it but put it under siege and just hold on to gibraltar i'm not so bust about them raiding me and look all these prussian armies this is why i want to have just an absolutely kick-ass navy because when that kicks off it'll be significant and we've still got opportunities in the americas but i really need to focus on europe at the minute the greek navy is continuing to push quebec navy is growing in strength Oh no, let's see how many my Jebek kills. Kills three. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna sail back to the port from whence they came. You're gonna sail into Gibraltar, maybe? No, actually, the uh oh, don't sail too far. See this this is why Darth Maud can be a bit silly. You're attacked in the Mediterranean and you flee all the way to Scandinavia. That's the route that my guys have taken, sailing past all my friendly ports and going, whoa, 79 grand. Okay, let's get that ship back. Well, where you're going to go, actually, is... First of all, you're going to raid La Havre. Looks like you can try and break the recruitment here at Calais and then do the same here. I don't know actually. I wonder if that disrupts because that definitely doesn't got four units being recruited. But I'm happy to leave for there. Lots of good building work. But I'm not gonna go jumping around. Kasserine. So first of all, tuners. Can I just walk out of here. I can. So Kasserine. Tatooine's about to grow in four turns. So you are going to be a craft workshop. We don't need another port. Do a bit of upgrading because we're expecting to need a lot more. Well, there's a potential to need more recruitment. You're going to set to recruit a... 12 pounder because then they'll follow you. Neiman advance onto Algiers. Okay, let's hop these fellows out. Get you guys into Gibraltar. Although you will disrupt. Actually, I'm not recruiting anything. Actually, that might only indicate how many slots I can build per turn. So, what we just did... Are these Portuguese rebels? 
Mr. D'Souza, we've got some of you. Okay, in which case I may want to... Well, I definitely will want to attack Portugal. One thing I want to do quickly is I've got a whole bunch of fleet arrives markers, so... I mean, in some of these ports, like Mangalore, what we probably want is a militia unit in here so I can quite freely sail my ships in and out. So you guys have a few spaces. What are we recruiting in? Port Bandar. Yes. Send three ships down to Mangalore. Yep, see so there at full strength. Good stuff. Gonna go through the notifications one at a time just to make sure I don't miss anything. You're going to raid the trade port because you're now on station. Or raid the trade route. This is another full strength fleet. It's another general. Let's recruit a levy unit. Because I'm getting. It does get a bit frustrating I'm just shuffle these sloops around. You men get in. Uh, Leads arrived. A couple of fourths. So what I'm going to want to do... Great, the great stakes is right there. Take these two fourth raids out. Make them both admirals because we've got trade fleets. I mean, we don't need admirals, but I I, I like having them because it kind of means I've not abandoned it, <laughs> abandoned the fleet. And let's get them one fourth rate, four fifth rates. You guys get into Surat. Those are some captured ships. Replenish. Okay, let's recruit some more first rates to always have some ships on the go. Got a couple more economy buildings to beef up, considering we've got. Well, we're doing a lot of expansion here right now. So, uh, yeah, some boosting is useful. Although. Okay, right, let's cancel. These great estate, or just that great estate. Give me a bit of cash. So when I take Portugal, I mean, to be honest, is that even? Oh, let's fight it. Let's just take the city, and then at the very least, I can. Well, I'll have some cash to try and make the population settle down. I've probably got a university to knock down. Um, but in general, we should be okay. And at the very least, those Portuguese troops should sail back to um, Valletta. So let's set up the great guns. There's a lot of artillery in this army. Too much artillery. So my melee troops are going to go in through... Well, there's going to be two. There's going to be two breaches. The Islamic swordsmen can take one breach. The dervishes and the Hindu warriors can take the other. My musket infantry are going to exploit whatever gaps exist, and my considerable lance cavalry and elephant musketeers hold their ground. Large mortars, as we proved, are a bit pants. Make a hole. Our great guns are fired first. Did 5% with one hit. Ooh. And I'm curious to know what my mortars are shooting. Because if I shoot at you, if you see, if I right click an order, they start moving. Yeah, that's the reason why I do not like mortars. This army could well get broken up into two armies because like, we don't need all these. Don't need both these uh, Ahadi in one 
force and you can do with more musket troops. Oh, that was exceptional hit that went straight through here. Wow. Exceptionally fine shots there. Who are you? Oh, it's a unit of irregulars. Facing stakes. All my other regular guns aim at the other breach now. They've just fired off the volley. Okay. So we've got a lot of really good kills here. So let's just speed up time. Cause the destruction of this breach. Then we will attack. 42%. Although, I wonder, they've not got a great... Ah. They've not got a great view, but they do arc their shots. So even though they've got not got a direct line of sight, they are lobbing shells over that raise. Killed a few men. These are Walloon line infantry up here. They would be valuable to kill. Give my infantry orders to march. I may well shoot my own guys in the back. But I am anticipating this breach being completed imminently. Oh, kill friendly fire incoming. Depends how fast the shells arc, I suppose. Yeah, they arc pretty good. And that's that breach completed. Ah! Ceasefire. Three men left. Hussars, hussars, hussars. Ceasefire. My house is going to open up at whatever. Yeah, we are going to bust our way through. Just like the left flank is going to be first. Yeah, I'm only speeding up time because... I don't know, did, did I give you guys order to... Yeah, I must have made you guys run because you're tired. Everyone else is just fine. Maybe unless they sally, which they are attempting to do. Hindu Musketeers secure the gate. Push all my infantry forward, turn off my elephant musketeers, stop my mortars from firing. Okay, where's my dervishes? Make ready and fire. Got some conquistador. Big mistake, bucko. Go get him, Hindu warriors. Okay, so this human cease fire. Secure the... Well, not secure the gate. Well, it will secure the gate. But what I want to see is men up top pouring fire down into the courtyard. The melee troops are going to hold the line here. A 
some of them are going to try and get through the gap. You can see the lots of cavalrymen here, but then again, this is not explicitly what they want from... It's not explicitly what they want. Let's send in some of my cavalry to fight their cavalry. Let's send a unit of native lancers around this flank. Just keep ready. Keep men ready to pour in. Hey, what? What do you... What? What? Alright then, you men charge the marines then if you're just going to run in. Charge my lancers in if they're just going to be able to run in. You guys are going to try and run through the breach. That's not going to work overly well. At least these men are pouring into the breach. There you go. Now my... These marines are going to get overwhelmed. There we go. The gate is ours on this flank. Run my lances around. Charge, my, charge these lances into the rear of this, com of this combat here. Cause them some upset. The dervishes are trying to get through. Oh, it's because the see, this is why I wanted to catch the gate. For whatever reason, my Hindu musketeers decided, nah, we're not going to do that. Literally get this infantry to secure the armory. These Hindu musketeers just form. I mean, some of these guys are also trying to run through the breach. Yeah, they may push us out of the gate because they are deciding. I would like to push my elephants in, but I think that would be a bad idea. Like, you men are opening fire on the light horse. You men are going to push around the side. Get my two man in here. But these, this is their commander, so they're not going to put him at risk. If this guy can work his way through the gate. Guerrilla mercenaries are upset. My Islamic swordsmen are doing a good job attacking through the breach here. Cut down many men. I have plenty in reserve. Okay, the man that's trying to get through the breach is dead. So when you guys get into position, you should... Open fire against the light horse. So let's just ignore the centre for now. There's one guy on the wall. He is stuck. Well, my these men at least are pouring fire into the center, picking off the light horsemen. My Aid at Hadi. At least doing some good work against their marines. Send in the next attachment of of Islamic swordsmen. I mean, these... Oh, yeah, yeah, these guys are very depleted. So they're stuck on up here. Just keep shooting them. Eventually, we'll get through... Yeah, you've got the Union of Hindu Musketeers. You men form up and also pour fire on the centre. I could attack them, but why do that? Well, I can just... 
can just uh, annihilate them. Two foot guardsmen, one grenadier. One marine. This marine would rather fight. Oh, bad luck for him. He thought I'd rather charge this these Hindu musketeers. Form square. You men run forward, secure the center. You men and charge the Regimento de Soria. They can hold a central position. Holding off the enemy light horse. He's still stuck at the top. Oh. Why? Enemy collapse. Enemy collapse. Their morale is broken. The city is ours. We yeah, I very much need more infantry to hold on to the city rather than to capture it. So those troops disappeared. Portugal minus 13. So Hammer for Reforms minus 18. If I can get rid of that, I can at least repair the Royal Observatory, the Military Academy. That will at least be useful. Punish whatever we can. Probably take you guys to go attack Agapetto La Roca. Although, to be honest, you're pretty knackered as it is. You can go around raiding if you like. Or not if you like. Send all my cavalry out just to make sure they die. I didn't want them to raid the university. And I don't want them to raid the university and prevent me from knocking it down this turn. They do need it. Trade raided, that's ours. All this stuff's our stuff. Workers on strike in Gibraltar, not anymore. And then we need to take Cagliari. That might be what you guys do when you're ready. Attack Cagliari, then attack Corsica. In this army, it takes Algiers, advance up and take out Morocco. I think that's all good stuff in terms of tech. Got some good stuff on the way, so that's probably okay. Okay. Our agents and spies continue to advance. Oh, they keep... See, they're pouring men in. They're pouring it into Italy. They don't want to attack me. But I don't want to attack them. So I think if there's one thing I want to do, it's avoid Northern Italy. I need to... Well, fundamentally, I need to bring them to battle and destroy their ability to fund a massive army and cause their destruction from... Well, I need to bring, in, bring an economic war onto them, which means I need to... Spain's attacking Paris. I need to blockade all their ports. Fundamentally. And just increase the pressure. If I can take Spain and fortify the Spanish frontier, I'm more inclined to then say, okay, let's build a huge, like a truly huge navy and blockade their coast. And then focus on expanding elsewhere. got plenty I need to keep I need to keep my on Portugal really at some point Georgia will die and when I do it I'm going to attack their capital so that all the other armies will disappear you can you can attack my individual ships as much as you like you lost three of your ships to kill one to not even kill my sloop very well this sloop will take up position in Lisbon Unless you're going to go all the way up to Scandinavia as well. For some reason, yep. Yeah. I've been attacked in the Med. You know where I'm going to go? The Baltic. That's a safe haven for me.
Trader Raided, what by Heavy First, War Galleon Fifth Brig, a suspicious death. This is very much par for the course for the Barbary States. They will they will simply just keep assassinating your leaders as soon as they get within the right part of the world. So you're gonna go. You're going to come up to Spain, as are you. Construction report. Lots of steam-powered factories, great estates, coffee plantations, good trading ports. Let's upgrade Santo Domingo's port infrastructure. Fleet arrives. Another army. Excellent. You can land in the south. And first of all, let's recall our sloop. Occupy Porto. That's quite a battered fleet they've got there. Portuguese rebels. Yeah, but now we've got them back under control. If you want to try and attack the city, you're more than welcome. Deploy the troops. Take this army that's currently depleted. Oh, don't be within range. I'm gonna do it. Sometimes I can bother to fight the small battles, and sometimes I can't. Because you've got a bit of time. We are gonna cover. Just actually, just threaten Madrid. Just threaten Madrid. We've got time. Let's not break anything. Anything they build now is something we haven't got to build later. You build Thakur's Mansion, you men occupy Gibraltar. Build good roads. Let's get rid of the seminary, should have got rid of that earlier. I'm not going to build anything because it's just going to be destroyed by the rebels. So let's just let our natural superiority there help. Actually, can I send one of you levy men to Cadiz? Just ready for next turn. And then send one of you to Sandy Bay. So that's a fourth rate. So all of you except a sloop move out. So you're up at full strength. You're occupying that shipyard there. Okay. The crewmen are poor. More first rates. So you're like a lower tier army. Navy, rather. So your job is to raid Mysore, or well, the raid the trade route, the trade route through the Med that we've got access to. You're a full power navy built on the back of Dutch sailors. You're going to cover this section of the sea, not entirely, but enough. We're going to send this Jebek to probably to Nice. The rebellion in Portugal. That's unfortunate. We've only just taken it. Confident and confident general. And oh, no, that's this fellow. Plus one to command. Yeah, if he loses, he might lose that trait. Plus uh, Corporal in Gold Braid, plus Mention Dispatches, good stuff. Okay, let's take this Navy down to Gustav Tinnemans. And let's go bring in, let's go bring in that heavy first rate, because we've got a good number of ships. So this is how we built, this is how we will defeat the Dutch. We will expand our way up the western western, Medi western Mediterranean, the Atlantic coastline. We will capture their ships, destroy their navies, to the point where we have such an overwhelming superiority that we will be able to choke them off from the wider global economy. Come on. Something like that. 
Yeah, this is the boy we want. To be honest, anything else we capture, we'll say we will sail back to India to integrate into trade fleets and then sell say, uh, sail out to the wider market. But I'm going to chop the recording here and bring you guys back. Rather smartly, the AI has elected to uh, attack my the back of my line, which is I'd say it's a smart decision. But it is something that we can manage. We've got two ships here that are in a really good position to engage Baishant head on. The heavy first rate is going to get left behind. You may fire chain shot into her masts. Pivot, you're going to sail ahead to try and get some early shots against the uh, against the heavy first. You're going to let fifth rate sail through. We're in a bit of a position to surround and destroy her. Lose the wind from your sail. She's very upset. Very upset. You may fire chain just because you've got a good shot into a mast. Fire! But you're going to be you're going to stay focusing on that heavy first rate because we're in a position we might have to see my fourth rate have to deal with the first for a while, at least on their own. Yeah. That little brig is going to uh, expose themselves. More than welcome to. Fire as she bears. I think everyone else is probably going to have to sail a bit more like that to try and get any sort of this any sort of to get any sort of a positioning against heavy first. Okay, you've sunk. Brig may cause some frustration. There we go. At least sailing on more of an angle like that, some of these ships can actually make some distance up. Okay, you guys just keep pouring shots into her. Fire some chain into her masts if you can. Just to try to slow her down. Four mast is gone. Sail on ahead. Ali Caleb can engage that guy. Small little brig. It's under attack. You get 
three shots into that heavy first, but you've got to just make sure you use them. Look at all my heavy ships. They're going to take a lot longer to get into position. You may have to sail more like that. In of itself, not a huge deal. Still haven't yet done any real damage to this heavy first rate. Haven't killed any crew or dismantled, disabled any guns. There you go, now you're going to open up on the brig. fire on the war galleon. I mean, I'd love to, if you could buy a chain at that distance that would be perfect but sadly you're not able to. Brig is surrendering or is routing which is you've got to be careful of. Got to try and sail into the wind for a bit. Try to stay ahead of her. Dismantled two guns, killed two crew. The brig has surrendered. Starting to land some good hits now. It's going to really not be fun when she starts uh, pouring broadside into us. I know that. Gallion's lost her place, she lost her foremans. She's continuing to close the distance towards us, killed a few more guns there. She's now on fire. If she blows up, that would be unfortunate. Alter course to try and stay more ahead of her. It means she is likely no longer firing. I think you can now start to get ready to fire chain shot. She's she's sailing so slowly. Here, right here we go. She's starting to engage. out. Maybe fire some more round shot. It's another gun destroyed. It's going to take to be a while before she gets into range. The war galleons continuing to make make a nuisance of herself, in which case then one of these ships should make a nuisance of herself back. She is turning. She does not want to be exposed. War Galleon is routing. But she's not going to be routing anywhere. Oh no, she's deciding not to route. Pivot one of our fourths. So close, you can start firing chain now. Kali Kali Kalibi? Salibi? Fire up broadside. She's now routing. We should be okay. The hill at as full of speed as you can possibly get. Ok, 
Actually, as soon as you start to get within range, you will be blasting. Yeah, so this fourth rate ship of the line is just not happy. Gonna be up to our fourths to deal with this situation, it feels like. You need to ignore the fort the galleon. This fourther is now going to be in position. Start dropping chain shot into her masts and rigging. Dismast her. I'm happy to let you fire at will. You're definitely in range. So bow a little bit more. I'm not going to let you fire broadside because we need to do some damage. You're going to try and just sail like this, I suppose. Okay, chain shots is off. Uh, you keep sailing to engage galleon. Doing some damage. Interesting, actually. Sometimes it appears like. Like hovering over hulls of ships normally works, but it's not working for you. If we can keep sailing like this to force her to rotate all the way around. You men are going to have to try and attack. Otherwise, this is going to take forever. Well, you're not going to attack. You're going to. These guys are going to keep sailing to engage the galleon. Yeah, this fourth rate sinking. Still haven't managed to knock out any masts yet. But the more she sails with the wind, the more she's going to be sailing where we want her to be. Because we are that much more manoeuvrable than she is. God, this is, just for the sake of one warship, just because they're deployed in the most frustrating possible place. Now I'm going to start losing random guns to that. Get out of here, coming back. Come on, knock out a mass, damn it. You're kind of tacking, but not really. From the angles. Yeah, that ship's finally sinking. Okay, you close the distance. In which case, now, to be honest, I'm just going to play this at three times speed. It's taken too damn long. Finally realizing that actually you're gonna to have to fire a round shot to provide to do some damage. You guys both attack that galleon. I have no interest in micromanaging that galleon anymore. Let's 
finally one of our rear mast is gone keep on firing the more mast we knock out the slower and even less maneuverable she is finally we're gonna get a third rate ship of the line in range Just this master. This is this has gone on for too long. You're gonna pull round shot into her because you're just a point blank. You're sufficiently close, begin tacking the other way. to sail just out of range and then just sit there and pull fire into into her you're gonna sit there pulling fire into her mast at least these third rates they can close the distance a bit one of you close the distance hard one of you close the distance soft continue yay surrendered you're routing and you're on fire. Okay, good. Pivot. Don't keep shooting her with chain shot. If she's routing, just pour. Round shot into her decks. There we go. Yo, oh, that took way too long. Way, way, way too long. Heavy first. We're going to take the heavy first straight. And the brig is going to sink. Although that brings up to full strength. Nice. So this sloop... Go up to Bilbao. You go into port and pair the damage. in both these sloops. Raid Cartagena. Good. So you're ready to attack. Okay. You're going to recruit. I mean, the job of these units is going to be for well, these armies is to to just hold no melee infantry just sit there with your guns at the ready and take them on okay i'm probably gonna want to take this fleet and realistically sail them out into the west base them somewhere like porto And be ready to attack the Dutch fleet as they come in, because we're gain we are gaining naval superiority in the Med. I mean, largely, actually. Maybe not entirely, but largely. So you're gonna? Well, oh, you can't base it Heracleon because it's not ours. Two firsts, two seconds, and a bunch of thirds. Okay. I think the only thing to do is to take Mr. Trevi and attack Algier. And because the last battle was so slow, I am going to fight it. So even though it's going to extend the part out just a little bit longer than normal, uh, at least we get a bit more action in because the last uh, <laughs> that name battle was slow. Format my infantry corps. Let's 
skirmishes on the right. Stay away from the town. Melee infantry. Going to go through the town. Skirmish cavalry. Going to go on the right. Heavy cavalry. Follow the main line. All my guns are a bit useless. Push it up. Push the fifth gun team. I mean, they're never going to get here in time, but they're going to get. They want to go here. That's where. You, that's where they should go. Where's my money? There they are. Push up and let's speed up time. The AI does not want to fight us on the open ground. I do not want to run through the town. Let's force us into the into the muzzles of their guns. Oh yeah, my general. I mean, I suppose maybe my guns could go here. Well, no, over here is better. Objectively. Give them the ambitious order to just go over here. in here, skirmishes at the ready. Heavy cavalry on the other flank. Skirmish cavalry probably join them. That was beat again. I'm not running my infantry, but yeah, as soon as we start hitting them here, we'll be able to sweep around and knock out the rest. Easy peasy. Especially as this is the side that's got all my cavalry and melee troops. So if they want to... If they want to attack me in the city with when I've got my Belain here blocking the gaps... Again, speed up time. God, some of these battles have just been a real slow burn. You don't go anywhere. No. Okay, interesting. That's the route we need to go down. To be honest, I should just go down it. The enemy left flank is weak. Enemy right flank is weak. Run my main line up. The gunners might be going after us. Oh, there we go. So there goes the armed populist units. So continue to attack them. scrambling to figure out how to respond. So let's push up dangerously close. Every's charging straight on in. Keep going. Commit the general. My fellow Ina are upset. I mean, look at all these troops routing. Just low morale. There we go. Starting to get some flanking fire in. My lances are charging.
Elephants are coming in. They don't give a damn. Friend or foe, they'll kill you all. <laughs> that was a precipitous decline. Including my fellow e that died. General's bodyguard, get out of there. The aim now is to keep killing them. So much so, they do not come back. I mean, look at this. This is just... Slaughter. Looks like the enemy camels have formed up. Let's ignore them for a bit now. Where's my heavy cavalry? Here they are, my heavy cavalry love camels. Push forward. So much experience, so much death and destruction. Yep, my heavy cavalry love camels. Because camels, even though they might scare horses, they are not up to the task of fighting armoured cavalry. Especially when there's infantry around to support them. I guess some very experienced cavalry units now. <laughs> but that was that was pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. Now Jesus ours, the Barbary pirates, once and for all, have been defeated. I don't want those guns in the end. I want infantry. That's what I would like. Also get rid of this shipyard. You chaps. You now leave Tripoli if I put you guys in charge. Minus four. If I exempt you from tax, it becomes zero. Okay, we'll do that for now. Build a trade port. You men bury Mr. Deora up to Cagliari. Oh. A bit of frame rate drop. I mean, that's an auto resolve there. Or, sorry, Jose Chavez. Prepare the court. Upgrade the mine. Upgrade the trade port. Construct winery. Construct cobbled roads. Excellent. You guys go into Aguero. Soon you will hop over to Bastia. You're blockading. Okay, okay, okay. You're threatening Madrid. You're not going to build anything. Although you might repair some of these buildings that we did not repair last time. Good. Okay. That's pretty good. 1,778. Could probably spend that down here. I do like Islamic swordsman units. They are very good. You got your four melee. Oh no, you've already got two Islamic swordsman units, so you don't need two of those. Let's get Kizilbashi. Let's get a Indian mercenary unit. So two more melee troops. Oh no, you don't need melee troops either. You need cavalry. Native Lancer. And a Sipahi. Good. Trader raided, trader raided, trader raided. Rebellions, suspicious deaths galore. Okay, let's hit end turn.
Britain's being Britain. Come on, Dutch, you're going to come after us. Yeah, you have a presence in the in the Caribbean, but I don't really care about it. You can blockade Rand. You can blockade that port if you like. Oh, they're going to raid Spanish possessions. Hello, what's this? Yeah, I think they're starting to twig. But what I do like to see is a war between the Dutch, the Prussians, and the Russians just to see who would win. Spain looks like they're trying to send agents to screw with us. I mean, the Prussians. God, this is going <laughs> to be a huge grind. To push through Europe to the point where it's kind of like, do I, do I maintain my focus as Europe, or do I say, okay, I'm going to keep? I mean, look at that. They're asking. They're going to betray me. They just are. Ah. Yeah, I need to take out. I need to take out the uh, Georgians before they betray me. Misrata in Tripoli. You can have a tavern. Create the commercial port. Get a sloop to cover it. Trade you raided. Heavy frigate, first rate ship on the line. That's pretty good. So agree this dry dock to a steam dry dock. Any raid, any raid. Port located, port located. So good construction here. Keep maxing out our production. I don't think Greece. Let's attempt to trade with Greece. Nope. Morocco. We're very friendly with Morocco, but we're going to declare war on Morocco. Fair enough. Neither of the little nations want to trade with us, and I'm not interested in bartering for trade. Okay, so we lost a lot of our access here. We've got good coverage here. Straits of Madagascar, that's where we want. A fleet. You guys are ready to go. Let's divvy up, divvy up these fourth rates. Some good fifth rates built. You're going to do the same thing. I want to have trade fleets ready to dispatch when we've got gaps appearing. So fourth. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Fourth, fifth, fifth, fifth. Lots of good Central Italy. Boop. Okay, upgrade Thacker's Court. Upgrade your roads. So if you pull out, they are happy with you. Royal Cairo Infantry Guards, eh? Let's go with the unit of Amazons. Great, a military engineer school. Let's build another army here. Two Royal Cairo Infantry Guard, two African Infantry Guard. Plus one unit of African light troops. 18,000. Can you build two? Uh, can you build one each? Upgrade the iron workshop, upgrade the farm. 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, getting paranoid, are they? They are going to attack me. I mean, look. Two generals outside Baghdad. Bolster the garrison. Got the farms to upgrade. If I attack the city, I can destroy them all in one turn. That's not a problem. Uh, it's more about... It's not even the diplomacy, actually. So how happy are you? Positive three. What happens if I move out my entire army? Minus one. My entire army can move out and attack the rebels. Destroy them. Well, not destroy them. Okay, we're not going to build metal roads yet, so we're not going to get screwed over. But you men put Madrid under siege. Both these armies are depleted, so we are going to take our time. And probably build a madrasa here in Lisbon. We are going to want to convert the population. And we are going to want to start sending more agents up into this part of Europe. But what I want to do, I mean, I suppose it's kind of wasteful in a way. Well, I want you guys to stay there to cover the strait. So you guys come down here and attack and bring this first rate ship of the line into the fleet. There. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time where we hopefully quickly gobble up another first rate ship of the line. Cheers, everyone.